looking, I finally found an alternative to the terrible, terrible shifter bushing for a Volkswagen air-cooled engine. I found this fantastic new Delrin bushing from a company called EV4U. I installed it in my SP2, and man, this thing shifts so much better than it used to. I'll walk you through all the steps here in a minute. For as long as I've known, this is the only available shifter bushing for a air-cooled Volkswagen. This bushing fits in the tunnel and is supposed to allow your shifter to not wobble around too much, but they go bad all the time. They crack, they break, and they're really difficult to install because of the way they have to be greased and essentially shoved through the hole and then the shifter bushing pushed through it with this tight metal ring that's supposed to attach. There's now a company that's making a different solution. This ev4unow.com has this great little Delrin shifter bushing that fits in the factory location. I've already started disassembling the interior to get to the shifter assembly, but I wanted to show you just how loose the shifter is currently with the broken bushing that's in there. Currently the car, that's neutral. If I shift into second and you wobble back and forth, look how much play there is even in second gear. Over in fourth, same thing, lots of wobble in gear. So it'll be interesting to see how it looks with the new shifter bushing installed. We're gonna start by removing these two 13 millimeter bolts that hold this into the shifter assembly. Before removing the two 13 millimeter bolts that hold in the shifter assembly, I like to mark the shifter so I know exactly where it was located so that I can put it back there later. So just a little touch of paint. Now with the shifter marked, I can remove the two 13 millimeter bolts. You can see the shifter is kind of spring loaded into this pocket. So we'll set that aside. This guide can also come out of here. That goes along with the shifter. As you can see, the shifter is pretty much just a ball and socket. That socket that's down there is the rod that we will now have to remove to replace the shifter bushing. Now towards the back of the car, you have to separate the shift rod from the shifter assembly on the transmission. And that is done at this little coupling. You just remove that bolt and that thing separates. The shift shaft is held in by a bolt and then that push through rod that supports it, the rubber bushing on each end. As you can see now, it is separated. And now the shift rod can come out the front of the car. Now you just have to fish the shift rod up through the front of the car. I like to use a good set of curved pliers so you can just grab it and just start sliding it forward. Now that the shifter bushing is installed, it's just a matter of feeding the shift rod back through the bushing, which is a slow, sometimes painful process. After lots of time messing around with the pliers, you're able, finally able to get this thing squared back up, the socket back up. Now I'll reattach the rear and just reinstall the shifter and we'll see what happens. All right, so let's see how the shifter looks after install. So it's in neutral, about the same. Feels more sturdy. So you go into first, a lot less wobble in first. Man, feels really nice. 
just notches into each gear like it should. Doesn't feel all wobbly once it's in gear. There's a little bit of wobble. I think that's kind of standard with the shifter system, but man, what an improvement over that plastic bushing that was in there and destroyed. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot more fun to drive now. Hey, for 75 bucks, this is an incredible upgrade for your air-cooled Volkswagen as far as I'm concerned. Now that I've installed this new EV4U Delrin bushing for my shifter, the car shifts so much cleaner and firmer. You know exactly where you're at in each gear. There's a good notch in between each gear. It really takes away the vagueness that the old plastic bushing used to have. I'm really happy with this upgrade.